I'm very excited for today. I've been looking forward to it all week. But a uh, bit of backstory first. So um, a while ago, Amber and I were talking about doing renos on the house and we came to the decision to sell our beloved boat, Beats Work, uh, so we could free up some cash flow to do some renovations. We've got some fencing to do in that. So anyway, we said though that we'd put some money aside for some kayaks. Uh, because we both like doing kayaks and it's a cheap thing to do. You don't have to put fuel in your kayaks. So anyway, I put out the feelers sort of saying, look, I'm in the market for a kayak and I decided to go for a fishing kayak because that way, you know, I've still got my rods in that and I can still go fishing. So Nick got a hold of me and said, hey, look, we've spoken to Viking kayaks in the past. Maybe we should get a, a hold of them. So we got in touch with them and they have... I kindly said that we can loan a kayak off them for for a wee bit and give it a go and see if what it's all about see if it's something that I'm interested in doing you know before I um, commit too much to it so we're on our way to Matamata to Viking Kayaks now to go and pick up the kayak they've set up for us here we are we're at Viking Kayaks awesome shop smells like hot plastic which is a bit different but here it is Heaps and heaps of different models, heaps of fancy gear, it's pretty cool actually. Um, you can have a sneak into the factory. They got heaps of big ovens and molds in there and it's pretty cool. Don't want to walk through there just in case there's any top secret things we don't want to give away but um, yeah no, we're just, I've just been talking to Grant. Um, he's been making these kayaks for 21 years now, started in a shed in his property uh, many many years ago and yeah it's still going strong so we're just gonna have a bit of a yarn and uh, grab this kayak. Hi. Mum says video you because you're being cute. Yeah. What do you think of Viking? <laughs> this is the beast. All set up. Well, here it is. Uh, last time I was talking to you, we had just gone to Matamata, that was last weekend, uh, to pick up this beauty from Viking Kayaks there. So Grant and the team really uh, hooked us up with something special here. So first of all, we've got the model. So it's a Viking Profish 400. It's four and a bit meters, I believe. Um, and it's sort of their mid-range, yeah, mid-range fishing kayak. Um, the next step up is the reload, which is really kitted out. But I'll run you over some of the features on this. So uh, first, obviously, we've got the seat. Very important. Should I sit in it without the seat? Not very comfortable at all. They fitted the chill pot on the back here. Insulated for sticking your fish in. I've stuck the um, rail blazer uh, flag on the back there for safety. Obviously, you've got your pedal, your footrest here, pedals for your rudder. I've got, I put the low rinse hook two four times our fish finder on it. It's got a wooden bait board on the front here. You unhook here, look inside, there's a place for your tackle. Got a couple of hatches. One here has a uh, little bucket in there to stick your keys and stuff in. And when you take it out, it opens up your hull to stick rods, spear guns, whatever else you need to get in there. And it's waterproof, both those. And then we have another one at the front here. Uh, we have the Railblazer, the Starport uh, rod holders up the front here. And here you'll see my uh, custom designed um, filming rig for my uh, camera. Uh, and then obviously we've got the bungees up the front here. And you can see my homemade kayak wheels underneath which you'll see a video on how I made those. And then a really lightweight paddle too that's adjustable, your degrees and also lengthways. And I've also got the running rig on the side here for the 
drip chip, which is in here. So I wanted to come out this afternoon just to the lake because I'm planning on going fishing in Auckland on Saturday. But I haven't taken this kayak out in the water yet, so I really want to get a feel for it. I've never used a kayak with a rudder before, so I'm going to get used to that, see how things go, and uh, I don't want to be, you know, learning new things while I'm out in the ocean trying to fish. So, yeah, let's chuck it on the water. Alright, first impression, it's a big kayak. I haven't done a lot of kayak fishing in the park at all. I've only ever done, you know, the old recreational bit of kayaking at camps and whatnot. But um, it feels very stable. That's one thing I definitely realise. Um, it feels very odd steering with my feet. I keep trying to paddle which way I want to go, but far out. It turns real easily on the rudder. That's something I like a lot. Uh, got the fish finder going there. Hopefully the GoPro shows. You know, I might see some trout. I am planning on um, getting my trout license so that I can um, do some trout fishing as well. I've only ever done fly fishing in streams, so another learning experience, but we'll see how we get on. So hopefully that, um, that mic works well. I'm filming on my camera because it's waterproof and got awesome quality video obviously. And then I can plug in the external mic off my big camera, so hopefully that works well. We'll see when this video is done. So as I spoke to you guys about on last Saturday, I have been given this kayak as a loaner from Viking, and we're going to do some content for them. And you know, just so you guys are fully aware of the deal that's gone on there, is I don't own this thing. They haven't given me any money or anything to say anything about it. They were keen to um, do some videos of me pretty much. So you guys, those who haven't kite fished before like me, can sort of follow my journey to going from complete beginner to, you know, hopefully someone who can catch fish on a kayak. But <laughs> yeah, we'll see how we get on anyway. Like I said, hopefully this Saturday, if the weather's good in Auckland, I'll be fishing. So the um, kayak, like I said before, very stable. I just um, went right up front and leant over the side kind of to adjust the camera angle and it's perfectly stable. Um, one thing I already noticed is I need to adjust the footrest because my feet are in sort of an awkward to steer at the moment. <laughs> It's taking me a really long time to get used to um, steering with a rudder. Hopefully now you can see me a bit better because um, I'm going into the sun now. But wow, it is beautiful out here. So anyway, I'm super stoked to have uh, the Viking to have jumped on board and um, you know, let us borrow this kayak for a bit. I hope you guys uh, find it entertaining watching my uh, adventures. <laughs> Hopefully you catch something and it's uh, not too boring for you guys to watch. so far. A little bit nervous about going out into the ocean but we'll give it our best shot. We'll be safe. We won't go out if it's super windy or rough or anything. Uh, the aim is to get back alive, safe and hopefully with some fish. So I hopefully catch you on the weekend. Jump down into the uh, description. Have a read there. Uh, we've got our links to all our other socials. Um, to the NZ Blog page, my Instagram, and also to our website. And if you do us a favour, you know, like, comment, you know, have a yarn with me. If you're interested to get any tips from you experienced anglers out there or kayak fishermen, um, and subscribe to our channel. And I will see you next time. Cheers.